with me, Hampton. What it do, man? It's your boy M to the T back at it again. Today, uh, Wednesday, October 28th, uh, two days before my birthday. Uh, man, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like that um, video that I posted up yesterday. Me walking, as y'all can see, when I started walking at the beginning, it's, it was cold. It's cold out here in Chicago now. Well, today was pretty nice, but yesterday was colder, and with that, our muscles get to you know they they stiffen up. They stiffen out and it's hard for us to move. So that's why at the beginning I was a little hesitant. I wanted to get up and go. But I had to wait until my body warmed up a little bit. But anyways, this video I want to put up today, this is for the newly diagnosed MSers. These are the ones that they get recent that they got recently diagnosed with it because I know how frustrating that it can get. And I just wanted to show this because um through my experiences, I'm gonna tell y'all how I went through it and I didn't know nothing about it. So that was one of the things that helped me cope with it was because I didn't know much about my mess. So I didn't, uh, the first thing I asked him was, can I die from this? Yeah, I didn't know. And then once the doctor told me no, I was like, ooh, all right then, you know, whatever. Let's, let's go ahead, baby. Let's, let's see what happens. But at the beginning, it's a little confusing. And this is what I want to tell you guys about. Because um, you got, for those that are married, you got your significant others. If you're not married, you got your family, your friends. And you gotta help them help you out. Yeah, you know I mean, so so in other words, you gotta help yourself, help them out to help you out. If that makes sense with that, and it's because because we don't even know what's going on. Once I got a mess, I was I was confined to uh to to my crutches at the beginning and my and a wheelchair. I use the crutches the most I can, but that's when I, I my hyper extension. That's when it started coming out really hard. And but I was still using my crutches. I was like, I'll get around and. But when I started realizing more people and I started noticing MS and seeing other people that were walking, like Mantel Williams, Jack Osborne, you know, famous people, and everybody's walking. And when when I saw that they were walking and everything, that's when I started, you know, being confused myself. Like, yo, wait a minute, hold on. I always did that guy MS and, and I'm the first time they told me I'm on MS, I'm on a wheelchair. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting for everybody that, that has MS to be on a wheelchair. Or, or can't walk or whatnot. But it's not like that, man. Everybody got a different everybody got different ways of getting it and you know and well what sucks is we don't know what way is gonna attack us. And it could be one day it could be we could we could be fine right now and then tomorrow we wake up and we're disabled. We can't move legs, we can't move our arms, we can't do this, and that's when we get to the plundering. That's when we get to the frustration. That's when we get to the being upset. Being angry, being, you know, depression kicks in. Because it's a whole change of lifestyle, man. There's a whole 360. And that's what's hard to cope. Imagine, look what happens right now with this COVID, with this whole COVID-19 and how the world had to adjust to regulations and, and, and protocols to adjust. And it was a change of lifestyle and everybody was freaking out. So imagine this. And this is for us for the rest of our life, man. This is what we got to do. We got to cope with this. And... So it's gonna get hard at the beginning, man. But that's all I ask is for. Please have patience. Have patience with your loved ones. Have patience with with um, with yourself. Know what you can. You know, know the the do's and the don'ts. What you can and what you cannot do. You know what I mean? Sometimes, um, and, and what I get to that is that you know you're gonna get symptoms that you're gonna it's gonna freak you out. You're gonna have symptoms where you know you're gonna get the the stiffness in your legs, the spasticity in your legs, spasms. And those are gonna be movements that you can't be able to control. So you're gonna be like, yo, what's this? You know what I mean? You try to control it the most you can, but it ain't you, man. It ain't going crazy on you. you you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. It's just a spasm, spasticity, stiffness, the hyperextensions, uh, everything that comes with, with muscular body and our nerve system. Remember, our nerves is not what's working. The connection is not going to your head. So, you know, you, you the, the the muscle doesn't know what to do because the signal is not there. So that's the whole thing of knowing your MS, knowing that guess what? When that happens, miente. I'm sorry, it's a fly in the house. Um, when that happens, miente, we just gotta know and cope and just pray. Well, my, what got me through all this is I pray hard. I pray so hard to put my faith in the Lord above and know that He got me. And if He got me, ain't no one against me. Be good. And and. It's hard, mi gente. It gets hard. So, but as time goes, you get to an understanding of your body. You, you get to cope with whenever you get a spasticity, whenever you get a spasm, when you get a 
whatever you get, whatever situation you you'll know how to control it. And once you start learning how to control and you start understanding your disease, life is going to get a lot better. And have a positive mindset above everything from the beginning, yo. I'm, that, that's your, that's where you're born into the T. I mean, from the get-go, I got... Matter of fact, around this same time, this is the 28th, around this same time was when I got diagnosed on my 30th for my golden birthday. I turned 30 on the 30th and I still blew out the candle, baby. With reason telling me I got MS. I don't care. The Lord got me and the Lord wakes me up in the morning. I'm winning. So let's go. And, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to say. And don't don't dwell on it. Don't. Yes, it's going to get mad. I'm not saying don't get angry because we're humans. We're not perfect. We're going to get mad. We're going to get frustrated when we can't put a sock on. When we cannot put a shirt on. We can't lift our arms up. When we can't even eat right, you can't even pick up a spoon right, it'll keep falling. Whenever you can't even, you got to hold the cup with two hands, so with one hand, is, uh, you're too weak. And it won't even get to, you know, you can't even reach your mouth. It's going to happen. It happened to me, but guess what? I mean, right now, I could pick up things right now in my hands. I could do this right now. I ain't worried about tomorrow, for tomorrow got his own problems, like the Bible says. You know what I mean? So worry about today. Don't worry about this, uh, but we're, don't worry about yesterday. Yesterday's past already is buried. Worry about today. And miente, so we got in miente. Y'all new MSs, man, we love y'all. We love y'all. We miss you. My channel is all about inspiration, about motivating people, about keeping going. I got PPMS. I'm on the last stage. I'm supposed to be in a decline, but guess what? Miente, I found myself on an incline. So I'm doing what I gotta do. As y'all can see, look out through my videos in the beginning of all my videos. Y'all y'all can check it out, man. I'm improving everywhere I go. And me and doing all the adversities that I faced during the times and, and whatnot. I'm still here. I'm still pushing, I'm still screaming and kicking and doing everything. Why? Because it's my I ain't done yet. Yeah, you know I mean I'm gonna keep broke. And I'm I'm gonna get to that point, me ended, but I'm just trying to say, take care of yourselves. Know what you do. Eat right. It's all about what you eat, man. Eat right. There's a lot of stuff you gotta that you gotta drop. You gotta drop. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do best best for you. And which whatever disability you find yourself, and hopefully you're walking. If you're walking, God bless and just keep doing it. Most of you don't use, you lose. So make sure you keep working out and do it. For those that cannot walk, we'll walk soon, baby. Look at me. I'm doing what I can. And for those that cannot walk and can't do nothing, well, move your upper body. Do whatever you can. Me and then, like I said, stay in movement. Keep it going. Don't dwell on that. Just keep it going. Let's do this, me and This channel is all about for y'all, for me, for for us. So it's your boy, M to the T, man. Love y'all. Miss y'all. Let's do this, man.